Hi, I'm Tony Grady, owner of Grady's Feet Essentials. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to care for your Blundstone boots. How to keep the leather soft and supple, how to waterproof the leather, how to condition the leather, really how to keep them great for many years to come. So one of the first products I often use is the Blundstone Wax-In Oily Sponge. What you use this for is if you're in a hurry and your boot kind of is dirty and needs a, a quick touch up but you don't have time to give it a really good cleaning. The nice thing with this product, it has oil in the sponge itself. You can quickly just give the leather a buff so we'll get some of the surface dirt off and head out the door. So when you do have time for a more thorough cleaning, these are the steps that I suggest. First, use a damp cloth and you want to wipe the dirt off the boot, off the soles, get the dirt out of the pores of the leather. Just again, a cloth and some warm water is all you need for that. Make sure you get into the seams of the boot, like where the sole attaches to the leather. That's where the dirt and the grunge and the salt likes to hide. There, so I've cleaned off the boot. Now you can see what's happening is that the water is actually soaking into the boot now. Uh, it's very wet and it's damp and that would actually soak into my foot uh, after a little while. So how do we waterproof the boots? We really recommend this product by Nick Wax. It's the Nick Wax Waterproofing Wax for Leather. And it's good for smooth leathers uh, on the Blundstone boots and other smooth leathers as well. But we use it a lot on Blundstone. It's water-based, there's no petroleum in it, so it's safe, it's an environmentally friendly company. So how do you use it? First thing you do, shake up the Nick Wax paste. I, sometimes it'll come out a little bit runny at first, that's okay. You want to apply a bit to the boot, like so it comes out white. And then with your hand, because it's safe to use and it's environmentally friendly, you want to work it into the leather of the boot. And you want to make sure you concentrate a bit on the seams of the boot. You know, right where the, the upper attaches to the sole. And just with your hand, give it a good rub in. Don't be alarmed that it's a little bit light in color. The back of the boot as well. We suggest doing this in the wintertime about once a month because with all the snow and salt, it really will ruin your boots if you don't care for them. So there, I've given that a good a good soaking with the Nick Wax. The little bit that's left, again, use your damp cloth. Just wipe it off the seams. You can see how there's a little bit of the whiteness still here. You can buff that out or it'll, it'll come off with just again with the damp cloth. I'm not scrubbing the boot now, I don't want to pull the product off, but just the excess that's in some of the seams I'm taking. So there, so now that it's been treated, when I put the water on it, if I'm out and about, you can see the water now just beads off the leather and it's not going to soak into it. So that's one of the best products to keep your smooth leather Blundstones waterproof. So a couple other things you may want to know. With the 585 boot and the 561, these are Nubuck leathers. You can see they have a bit of a nap to them. See, when you brush them, it'll change the texture a little bit, the look of the boot. If you use the waterproofing wax for leather on these boots, it'll take away that nap. It'll actually darken the boots. You can do that if that's the look that you want to achieve. But if you want to keep the look, the factory look of the new buck, you wouldn't want to use the wax on those. What you would use to waterproof these boots is the Nick Wax new buck and suede proof. Now, what you do with that is, you, again, you put water on the boot to wet the leather. And then this is a pump spray. So you spray the leather of the boots. And again, with your hands at that point, you can work it into the leather. But that way it'll maintain the nap of the boot and it's not gonna give it a, a hard waxy type finish, but it's gonna keep that soft texture and still waterproof the boot. When you have some salt stains on your boots, that's the white line you get when you're wearing them in the winter time. You wanna make sure that you get that salt off fairly quickly, at least every second day, ideally every night. Product here is called Salt and Stain Remover. It's a desalter. It works to dissolve the salt from the boots. Another option, you can use uh, water and vinegar at home. Just mix it, you know, 25% vinegar, 75% water, and apply it to the boot, and that will, again, dissolve the salt and get it off the leather. After you've used that, use your Blundstone sponge. And again, you just give the boot a quick buff. 
like so, and you're good to go. Another product some customers use for cleaning them, I showed you using the damp cloth and just some water. You can use the saddle soap. What you do is you mix it with a little bit of uh, warm water and it works into a paste and you apply it to the leather. So the saddle soap is an option for cleaning. Traditional customers use mink oil and dubbin for waterproofing the leather. Now you can use those on your blundstone boots. With the mink oil, you just work it in with your hand. The drawback to mink oil on your blundstones is that it really softens your leather and eventually they can, they can stretch out. But it is a good, like if the boots are very tough at first and you want to soften them up, a little bit of mink oil is a nice way to soften the boots. I wouldn't use it regularly though because like I say it will stretch out the boot on you because they're a pull-on true fit. I wouldn't use it all the time. The dubbin, uh, you can use that. It's much like mink oil. You apply it the same way. It's more heavy-duty waterproofing. Again, you put it on, uh, it'll soften the leather a bit, but it will waterproof them as well. Again, we prefer the Nick Wax product. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you found some useful information. The products we do carry in our store here in Peterborough. For more information, come in and talk to our staff or visit us online at www.grady's.ca.